Hello everybody, Dick here from Chesty Trains. Um, another week has passed. Short little video, I uh, had some time uh, to put a decoder in uh, my ICE 3 from Mihano. Um, Prestige series, uh, very simple set, but yet, uh, you know, pretty pretty good. Uh, I'll show it a little bit more in detail. Um, this is the uh, set, comes as an eight part set right away. Um, complete with all the cars uh, I put a uh, Apple LED decoder in there from from Germany Apple I guess uh, LED from from Germany they are uh, standard decoder no sound uh, light function um, has uh, I think three or four function uh, slots and uh, you know they work they work fantastic and it's easy to program easy to adjust and uh, i can do that with the z21 no problem i'm sure any other other uh, um, dcc unit can do it too i'm, I'm pretty sure they're multi-protocol i never pay attention because i don't have any markman stuff um to worry about like in any motorola uh so for me they're great decoders uh they they, they basically like the lock lock pilot basic or the uh, basic lens decoder and they work really well and usually uh, I buy them in, in a set of 10 so it's worth the shipping to Canada uh, because I order them direct from uh, Apple LED in Germany I'll put a um, I'll put the name and maybe the website in, in the video uh, yeah let's let's have a look at this uh, Mihano ICE and maybe we'll let it run a few rounds uh, around here and uh, maybe we we'll look at something else too. Let's uh, let's just see what happens. Enjoy. And here it comes, guys. I see three from Mihano. Eight parts to it. Um, runs nice, smooth. Uh, looks pretty good. Like I said, no sound yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put sound in that one. But let's just stop it here. So let's just have a look here. I mean, uh, you know, you get a driver in the cab, has headlights, change with travel direction. Um, now I'm on the dead spot on the switch, which you should never stop. Um, printing is good, I would say. Uh, nice and crisp. Obviously, it doesn't have all the little details on there, like uh, the Trix model would, or the, even the Pico model has. Um, the doors here, the window frames are sticking out just ever so slightly, um, so they're not flush mounted like like they should be. They actually protruding a little bit. Um, the window bands themselves, like uh, can't really see through them. It has a little bit of an interior, but I don't think it's worth putting light in. Um, here you can see the uh, the coach to coach, uh, you know, uh, transition. Uh, very simple done very plain done uh, the engine like the this one here has obviously the motor in the center uh, both boogies are driven and uh, it's definitely heavy enough and 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 has enough uh, power to pull this eight car train um, and actually after that like it, it never has to pull anymore unless you run two together but then you have two locomotives kind of in the consist so that will be then again like like enough power uh the pantograph area is pretty nice like it's even the dark gray underneath the pantograph and the pantograph is not like a a plastic um you know discombobulation like normally on on these uh, mihano models but uh, mihano this is the prestige line and you can definitely tell a difference um it's kind of hard to see the detail on the bogies here but even the boogies are nicely detailed, uh, very plastic, very three-dimensional. Uh, the air conditioning units up here, obviously the, the vents are only just uh, printed on or, or stickers. Um, but overall, I mean, uh, you know, for a model like this, the, the printing here, here you can see the, the window is sticking out a little bit, the window band. I think I'll have to, you know, glue a little bit here, help a little bit with glue because it's kind of lifted off. But overall, very nice. And then it also has already the Board Bistro um, 
lettering and not the board restaurant so it's obviously a little bit more newer unit I don't know when Mihano made this model I really couldn't tell I also think that I have number coach 1 and coach 2 here um, in the wrong order I think the two pantograph areas have to face each other uh, but I'm not 100% sure but obviously then uh, one thing comes to mind is that the pantographs are all the same and they should actually be different pantographs for um, the different um, running in France, Belgium and Germany. Um, that's exactly the reason why it has so many pantographs um, as it is the multi-voltage unit. Uh, and then the, the uh, steering car on the back obviously has the red lights too. No driver in that cap obviously. But you know what, overall detail is not bad. Um, I haven't lubricated it yet, so it's rather noisy still. But overall, not a bad model. Like, uh, I probably have to, you know, uh, adjust the decoder functions a little bit still to make the uh, make it run a little bit smoother. I'll have to take it apart and maybe give it a bit better of a loop or a bit of a loop job there. And, uh, you know, and then the individual coaches probably could use a drop of oil on the bogies and the axles and uh, I think then we're set and again I'm not sure if I put sound in this one as it is more of an economy model um, but we'll see I mean maybe maybe one day you know I have an 8 pin lock sound kicking around and maybe I put it in there um, the couplings between the coaches uh, I don't know if we can see it here very vaguely um, they are non uh, conducting or anything there's special coupler that only uh, Mihano uses I guess and uh, so in that respect uh, it's really meant to be just this one unit train there's here in the front there's nothing you can take off and put like a coupler on to to close couple two together there's nothing prepared also I, I helped a little bit on the bottom here with uh, some tape to close off the uh, bottom of the uh, off the front in order for the light not to shine on the on the track from the headlights <laughs> but overall i mean great little model like like really i uh you know should have uh had this had this decoder put in a while ago and, and up and running already uh for the video we did for the 30 years of ic service in germany uh i think was it last year or this year i think last year um but anyways, great little, uh, great little train, and we're gonna see it run a little bit. Yeah, and this is the box the uh, Miano IC3 comes in, Miano Prestige series, has nicely all the uh, train cars showing on the front. Uh, when you open the lid, obviously in the lid uh, you have the same picture again, IC3, and it has like a little bit of description here, uh, there's, there's English. Uh, service weight, horsepower, all that, and the information all the way in the back here. So there's like multiple languages. You have the nice, clear, see through uh, box cover here with the cellophane um, or clear plastic. Uh, it says right here it's made in Slovenia. Uh, has a whole bunch of other warnings on there and don't uh, swallow any parts, don't lick it. Um, yeah, and then it just opens on the side here, the flap opens, and you can pull these uh, styrofoam inserts out. One has, each one has four uh, units in there. This one here being the one with the motor. This one is the steering one with just the tail light in there. And then the intermediate coach. So that's what it looks like. Uh, it has an item number on here somewhere. I don't think it's being made anymore. Oops, sorry. But uh, there is the item number 2368. So that's it. I see three Siemens. I see three uh, class 406 for multi current service all over Europe. Yeah, another interesting fact I thought was uh, you know, when I compare the um, Pico IC3 coach here with the uh, Mihano coach I mean uh, you know the, besides the detail like there's a little bit more printing on the uh, 
on the Pico coach and uh, you know the window is, is kind of flush and this window band is kind of a little bit nicer done than uh, on the Mehano um, when you really close up uh, but the Mehano coach is longer um, not by much maybe like you know four or five millimeters but it's longer and the same is for the driving coach uh, the steering coach when you look here they, everything is the same everything is the same and in the end here we're about you know three millimeters length difference so the question would be now um, you know did Mihano not convert right? Did they uh, measure different? Are these two maybe ever so slightly different? The class 406 um, and the class 40, what is, what is the IC3? Um, I don't even know offhand. Um, so, so yeah, uh, just noticed that when I was uh, comparing them um, due to the uh, roof um here too the equipment on the roof obviously on the uh, regular ic3 is a little bit different pantograph looks nice like like uh, nice and and skinny but at the same time like the bright red is not quite right right that's where i had uh one of the other uh, pico coaches i took a little bit of gray paint and i made everything gray i think looks a little bit better that red cable should be probably more like a grayish uh, color too, but uh, at least the gray kind of brings it all a little bit out and and uh, You know makes it look a little nicer other than that uh, you know, obviously the uh, The detail on the printing on the IC3 from from Pico is a um, A little bit ahead of the, the Mihano Anyways, just wanted to point the length difference out Uh, one more addition here couldn't say no um, really like this one uh, found it used was the uh, full sound and uh, it's just stunning the sound
So here we go, local class 85 steam engine from the Deutsche Bundesbahn still, or already, class uh, um, or area 3. Uh, full sound, dynamic steam, I have a short of it yesterday or the other day uh, I made a short of it. Uh, where it's actually chuffing on the uh, on the test stand um, just to to break in kind of the uh, the motor in both direction and I put some steam oil in and I was actually surprised how long 1.5 milliliters of the steam fluid lasts like in this little room couldn't do it just would be too much uh, has like an array of uh, functions um, like the cap lighting, the conductor whistle you heard, uh, there's all sorts of sound functions it can do um, when it's when it's running. It has here the red tail light you can turn on and off. Um, there's uh, generators and coupling noises and uncoupling noises and blowers and another whistle. And the whistle really echoes and everything um, has all sorts of sounds like taking on water um, again uh, stops at function 24 which I don't understand there's no station announcement there's no uh, shunting announcement or anything um, it has a conductor whistle why could it not have a station announcement or two or why could it not have some you know conductor talking whatever um you know it's it's a, i'm not 100 percent sure anymore but i think these ones were used to push other trains so they could easily be on the, you know the walkie talkie whatever you know on the, on the calm and being telling the other locomotive to increase steam or whatever you know just make a little bit interesting like um I don't know if this locomotive would have had or not, but uh, they could have put maybe the lights, inspection lights on the uh, on the driving wheels here on the bottom, just like the class 10 has. Um, you know, just a couple of extra functions. I mean, people pay like crazy money for these locomotives. Um, I'm sure when you make like a couple thousand of them to squeeze like three or four more LEDs in there, and they'll upload a couple of extra sounds ain't gonna make change the price you know what i mean so uh there's the disappointment running wise like how it how it drives and i'm not on my dirty track here right now i just had it uh you know stop a couple times but just how it runs like when it's running on the clean track is just awesome and i just love the whistle That is so awesome. Oh, and by the way, I put it to about 75% the sound, just because when it's too loud, it's, it's, it's no good either. Right. Goes prototypical 80 kilometers an hour. Has a nice brake squeal, and we can back up. Of course, we need to announce that. It has like the rail, like the squealing over switches. It has the uh, rail interruption sounds. Uh, you know, it's it's they kind of repeat themselves. I don't really want to touch on all of those, but just the the detail, the the extra detail that's on this locomotive. 
really really nice of course in the cab there isn't enough room really to uh, to have this all open because they have to fit the speaker and the motor and the decoder somewhere so so that's uh you know in there and then it has the uh fill for the uh, steam fluid up here uh steam is coming obviously out of the chimney and uh, i don't want to take it apart um i lubricated the wheels a little bit like it said in the manual um i bought it used uh, as used condition i guess um but really i don't think this this engine has seen more than maybe a couple hours of of, of layout time so far so i'm really really happy with that don't know what to show you guys what else to show you guys but uh you know it looks really really good next to the class 10 here there's the class 10 again and of course the pico class 78 uh, be interesting to see how the Pico Class 78 holds up towards uh, next to the uh, Trix Class 78. I think that's out now, but uh, I'm not so sure. I want to add another Trix locomotive. So that's that for, for this lock.